Hello everyone, today let us learn about the coplanar concurrent force system. In the last video, I have explained what is coplanar concurrent force system. If the two or more forces are acting in a single plane and passing through a single point, okay, such a force system is known as the coplanar concurrent force system. Okay, now today in this video, we will study how to solve the problems to determine the resultant if there are many number of forces in the coplanar concurrent force system. Okay, first let us learn what is the procedure, what are the steps to follow to solve the problems. Okay, so first step is we have to always calculate the algebraic sum of all the forces acting in the x direction and also in the y direction. Okay. So, that will represent as the summation of forces in x direction is called as the sigma fx and summation of forces in y direction is called the sigma fy. The forces will be given at various angles. We have to resolve the forces in x and y direction, find sigma fx and sigma fy. Then we have to find the magnitude of the resultant using the formula R is equal to square root of sigma fx square plus sigma fy square. Then we have to determine the direction of the resultant using theta equal to tan inverse of sigma fy by sigma fx. Okay. So very simple. This procedure is very simple. First problem I will solve it so in the very detailed manner so that you can understand very easily. Okay. So, first let us consider a problem. There are five coplanar forces given. They are acting at a point. Okay. And we have to determine the resultant, the magnitude and direction as well. Okay. So, first I have resolved all the forces in x and y direction to make it very simple for you. Okay. First is 100 Newton. Okay, it is at 45 degrees, right? So, what we have to do is resolve it in x and y direction. First, let us resolve 100 Newton force. Okay, it makes an angle of 45 degrees with the x. Okay, so it will be 100 cos 45. Along the angle, the component which you are taking will be a cos component 100 cos 45 and the other component along y direction will be 100 sin 45. Next, now let us take 200 Newton. It is at an angle of 30 degrees with the y direction. So, the angle is over here. So, component along y will be 200 cos 30 and other component will be 200 sin 30. Okay. Then, this is the sign convention. If the force is acting towards right, that is in the x direction, towards right it is positive. If it is towards left, that is negative. Force in upward direction, positive. Downward, negative. Okay. Then, next is 200 Newton at an angle of 30 degrees along the y direction. So, it will be 200 cos 30 y component and the other component 200 sin 30 along the x direction. Next, 275 Newton makes an angle of 6 degrees. Okay, So, along the x direction 275 cos 6 because angle is over here with, an, with the x direction. So, it will be cos component. The other component will be 275 sin 6. Then, last force is 250 Newton making an angle of 20 degrees with the y direction. So, 250 cos 20, that will be y component, angle is here. Then, the other component will be 250 sin 20, that will be the x component, right? Now, we have resolved all the forces in x and y direction. Next, we have to take the summation of the forces in x direction and in y direction. Sigma Sigma fx equal to 100 cos 45 plus 200 sin 30. Then 
minus because it is in negative x direction minus 200 sin 30 this also minus 275 cos 6 and minus 250 sin 20 that is minus 288.28 newton then sigma fy equal to upwards positive downwards negative so plus 100 sin 45 then plus 200 cos 30 then plus 200 cos 30 this component then next is this one minus 275 sin 6 minus 250 cos 20 so we get 153.45 newton after finding sigma fx and sigma fy we have to find what is the resultant magnitude that is square root of sigma fx square plus sigma fy square so minus 288.28 square plus 153.45 square so we get 326.58 newton and theta equal to tan inverse of sigma fy by sigma fx tan inverse of 153.45 by minus 288.28 so we get 28.02 degrees okay so that is the direction so this is the very simple way in which we can find the magnitude and direction of the resultant please like share and subscribe to my channel and please share with your friends and if you have any doubts or if you are interested in any of the topics which you want me to make videos on please mention in the comment section thank you